Well, Carmen, the owners told me that they took preparations after watching our very own chief meteorologist Rachel Frank's forecast last night on Fox 61. They also said that had they not prepared, it could have been worse. It seems like this year um, the tides have been quite higher. We don't normally flood Christmas Eve. We don't normally flood now. These are not normal times for us. It's been a strange winter for a lot of Connecticut, but staying weather aware allowed them time to prepare. I kind of knew watching the weather because I'm a Fox 61 person. Um, I was watching the weather and they said one to two foot surges. So I said, oh, we need to put everything up because when it floods here, we know we just got to pick everything up so that we don't lose things. The employees of the Guilford Mooring had to delay opening due to flooding. It's something they're used to. This whole thing was flooded. In December, the restaurant flooded, destroying a lot of equipment. We weren't ready for that. We lost a lot in that. But this time was much different. We had no damage. We had nothing. It was kind of an inconvenience, but nothing we can't handle. We've been through this. Even after high tide, they were open just in time for dinner. Mother Nature, but, you know, it's, it's not going to defeat us. Yeah, so we're, just gonna we're stronger continue. than that. Well, high tide is expected again later next week, and they will stay ready when the time comes for possible coastal flooding. In studio, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. All right, Jake, thank you.